Hi, uh, this is Sean. So I thought I'd make a video about rewaxing a barber jacket, seeing as um, I decided to do it myself. Um, first of all, you need this if you're going to do it yourself. Um, and this is about £10. And I've not been able to find out the exact price of um, sending it to barber, but I think it's about £30. It's, it says $50 on the American site. Um, I'll just read out the instructions, it says you require a pan of hot water, soft cloth or sponge, warm room, stand the tin in the hot water, and then you work the dressing well into the garment using the cloth or sponge. Pay attention to the seams and you rub it in, you don't, you don't just paint it on. And it says at the end, if you want a factory finish in quotation marks, you want to use a hairdryer on it to dry it um, evenly. So yeah, here is here is me preparing the preparing the wax. Just take you through it. This one, my food on the <laughs> counter there. So yeah, boil the kettle, um, and then obviously heat up the wax a little bit. You don't. I've not put it on the the hob by the way. Just just use the pan. Um, and I don't know exactly how how loose the wax is supposed to be. So I just. It's basically the consistency of candle wax that's gone a bit soft and then, then you rub it in. I'm really open to feedback, so if I'm doing this wrong or if you're more experienced than this, tell me about it and, and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll learn from that. Um, I, I made this video really to show me making a coffee uh, to accompany me there. Um, made this video to show that if I can do it, anyone can do it because I'm the least practical person in the world. This is the jacket before the waxing, so um, I've had it about a year, maybe two, and it says you should wax it every year. Um, I'm not the sort of person who looks after stuff in the way that I should, to be honest, but I just thought I'd do this um, for something to do. So there's the wax. It's not liquid, um, but it's 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 in a, a consistency that you can spread. So I've got no idea how much wax you're supposed to put onto the jacket but I'm guessing just as long as you get some wax on all the surface then that will make it waterproof. It says do not overdo. In this I used about half a tin I guess. Um, so yeah so I'm just rubbing it in and I'm trying to you know rub it in completely and make sure there's even coverage. At the end um, there are some bits that are not covered as much as others, but you know, you just apply more next time and you'll learn from that as you go. I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out, to be honest. I thought it could be an absolute disaster, but I don't think there's much much chance of getting this wrong. So I'm just trying to get it all over. Um, it looks really shiny um, at the moment and it looks almost wet, but it, it doesn't look like that now. I can see it hanging up on the wall here. Um, so I'm just using a sponge from the supermarket. Um, and what I what I did eventually is just started to uh, use my fingers and spread it with my fingers and then uh, rub it in with the sponge, which seemed to work a little bit better, to be honest. And you can kind of like dab it over the jacket and make sure that you're, you're getting it evenly covered. But yeah, I mean, it takes a little bit of elbow grease. I think in, in total it took about an hour to do this, maybe slightly less. But... You know, uh, it's worth it, and it's you know, it's quite a nice activity to be honest, uh, and it's something that you can't get wrong. Um, whenever I polish a pair of shoes, I always feel like I've done it wrong, but this 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 is fine. I mean, you can't get it wrong. So yeah, just trying to get it into every single nook and cranny. Uh, it does say pay pay most attention, pay particular attention to the seams, and obviously you've got bits of the jacket that are covered and the underside of the pockets and stuff like that that you might not think of um, but I've just tried to make sure that I get those sorts of things so as I said um, obviously you'll do this on every surface of the jacket you know flip it over do the back do both sides of the arms um, and then after that you will use a hairdryer to dry the jacket evenly and it does dry to be honest I was a bit worried that if you can see the bottom of the jacket looks really shiny it doesn't look like that um, for me it's not supposed to it's not desirable but I, I, again it's I guess it's about personal preference um, so it did dry up quite nicely with the with, with the hairdryer so yeah as I've said eventually, eventually you'll need a hairdryer Here's one I made earlier, and then dry the jacket evenly, 
eventually I just put it on the floor and dried it that way and kind of put the hairdryer really close to the to the jacket but it really worked and, and, it, and it really did dry out the wax and, and make it less shiny um, which is what I wanted and I would I would, cons I would say do not miss out this step because it says for a factory finish like it's optional almost but I, I think it's, it's, it's needed so here's the jacket on me at the end after the process has been completed um, it looks good. Um, it's not it's not the most even finish in the world, but I think I can cope with that. And you know, next time you just know to put more wax on in certain areas. But I would say that you can't really get this wrong. It's 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 really simple to do, and you know, it's it, it's pretty cheap. And if if you want, you can send it off to Barber after after you've done it to 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 make sure. Yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.